Hi, I'm Donna Miller with Miller Crafts. Today we are going to learn how to use a downloaded font to create a monogram. So I hope that you like this video and that you click and subscribe and hit that bell button to get notified of future videos. So the first thing that you'll need to do is go to the Canvas workspace online and on the bottom right corner, you're gonna click more news. And then you need to scroll down until you find February 14th, 2017. And this is where you will go to download the scan type converter that lets you use your fonts online. So you need to click the Brother Solution Center link. And again, you're looking for February 14, 2017. Then you need to pick the machine that you own, and then you will pick either Windows or Mac and pick the version that you have, click OK. And then you just need to click Agree to the Terms, and then you're going to want to minimize this so that you can bring up the file. So you need to go to your files and usually this is under your downloaded files. You want to click and drag that to your desktop so it's easier to find in the future. Now you need to go to Canvas Online and hit New to bring up a new workspace. Then you're going to hit that SVG button and you will choose the file where your file is at and hit OK. So now that I have my Triceratops in here, I want to go to the left where it says basic and pick a circle. Now you're going to go to the top where it's a square with three bars and click that to change the color of your circle. That way it's going to be easier to see it against the dinosaur. So you're going to X that out and then you're going to size down the circle to be a good size that your monogram will fit inside the dinosaur. So now that I found a good size, you want to select the dinosaur and the circle and you will go to edit and you're going to go to subtract and that will take a circle out of the dinosaur. Now you need to minimize this and then you need to go to that brother scan type C converter and you will already need to have downloaded the font that you want. So I'm picking the monogram. I got that from the Defont website. And then you need to type in the exact letters you want your monogram to be. And I picked my size as 36 and the font size as normal. And then you will need to save this somewhere on your computer. And then you can X this box out. Now go back to your window and then you need to bring in the file that you saved. Then you're going to click the OK button. And we're going to go ahead and drag these letters down at the bottom so that they are away from the dinosaur. And then I want to go up to the top where it has the percents and I'm going to go to 150 to zoom in. And then you're going to go to edit and hit divide button. And then you will select the individual pieces and hit delete on the keyboard to delete out the pieces that you don't want. Again, go up to edit, hit the divide button, click on the letters you don't want and hit delete on the keyboard and repeat that process one more time. Then you want to scroll over and drag the letters that you do want together. You're going to click and drag over all of them, then go up to edit and hit group. And then you're going to drag this up into the dinosaur and we're going to size the letters to fit inside the circle of the dinosaur. So just keep adjusting this until you get it to be the size that you want it to be. Now, once we have that, then I'm going to go ahead and change the colors. So I'm going to hit that rectangle with the three lines through it, and I'm going to go ahead and adjust the colors. So to change just the color of the dinosaur, I'm going to hit that again, and I'm going to change that to green. And I'm not really worried about the outline because I'm going to cut this out in vinyl anyway. So then you can go to edit and you can group your project together and you want to size it down to whatever you want it to cut out to be. And then once you are done, you want to save your project. So go ahead and give it a title and then hit that button that says overwrite this project and that will save your project to the cloud. 
So I hope that you like this video and that you learned something new. Please click and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified of future videos. Mm -hmm.